and keep in mind basically these context filters are exclusively useful whenever we are dealing with a huge volume of a data source okay keep in mind guys the context filter we will be using whenever we are dealing with a huge volume of a data okay huge volume of a data that is first thing and second thing is this is exclusively helpful to improvise the performance of your dashboard or your report so context filters are helpful to improvise the performance whenever we are dealing with huge volume of data now here we go look at this if you are applying filters to a large data source you can improve the performance by setting up context filters okay so what does it mean indirectly or directly whatever it is okay we are what is the understandable point here yes context filters are helpful to improvise the performance but okay now look at the same area so this is what a normal filter guys let's say you have a table guys called region and corresponding sales and some product ids okay so south north region south region and corresponding sales and product ids something like this okay now i am applying one filter called filter one is what let's say region is equal to south which means you are applying a filter on this particular table that is filter one filter one that is region is equal to south so what will happen it will ignore this north result isn't it so it will go it will show you only south related values right so if you apply a filter that is filter one that is region is equal to south it gives you this output isn't it now on the same table if i apply another filter where top two pids top two pids in sense top two product ids or something whatever it is okay now top two in sense look at this 400 and 300 so it gives you north of north as well as south combination now look at this we have this results okay so now if you apply if you observe here what is happening you are you have applied two filters and do these two filters are applied on a table fine but both are independent there is no dependency between the filter to filter the one filter is giving me one more output and another filter is giving me one more output fine fine now on top of these two whatever the output i have if i apply one more filter called south okay so what will happen it will give you the common values between filter 2 output and filter 1 output so what is the common value in between these two tell me guys what is the common value this is the one so now do you think that this actual functionality is working here no because the filters are independent on each other okay because every time whenever you apply a filter every time it is hitting the row by row every row in a database level whatever is the table on the same table i have a filter on the same table whatever i have it i have the same table now on this filter on this particular table i am applying a filter for region is equal to south so what will happen it gives you only the region which is equal to south related, related. okay that is fine now if i apply a second filter what will happen you know so here whenever i apply a filter one what will happen you know a temporary table will be created at a w level a temporary level a temporary table will be created at a w level and those w temporary table will have the values which is stored at your repository level which is equals to region is equals to south that is a temporary table and those temporary table is going to store it in a repository level and those okay and now if i apply again another filter that is top two id is what will happen you know that particular second filter which is not going to hit the table it is going to hit the temporary table and it retrieves the corresponding values from that temporary table now in between these what is the top two pid is that is 400 and 200 so it will gives you output so which means what is happening only for first time it is hitting the data source and for second filter onwards it is hitting the temporary table that is if you are going it with the normal filter i mean okay let me put this if you are applying the filters to a large data source we can improve the performance by setting up a context filter fine now look at this a context filter is applied to the data source first okay 
it is applied see this is the data source i am going to hit for the first time which is what context filter and then the other filters what is the other filter here top two ids so the other filters applied only on the resulting records resulting records of the output whatever you have applied of filter one so which means what is the case the second filter whatever you are going to apply it is not going to impact on the table it is going to impact on the results of the filter one now look at this i'm going to apply filter three okay example okay so filter three is what let's say okay let's say sales is equals to 200 okay example so what would be the output i'll be getting it guys see this is the output isn't it do you agree with me this is the output now what will happen you know this filter is not hitting the database this filter is hitting the output of my filter 2 okay see what is happening you have a sequence of the filtering criteria together in a single sheet what will happen you know tell me guys what will happen so this is what normal filter what will happen the common values between output of filter 1 and output 2 filter right the common values will come in picture do you agree with me guys do you agree with me look at this so let me turn to your sheet now look at this let me uh, what am I going to do? Let me duplicate this sheet, not an issue. Let me duplicate it. Now look at this. Product name, you have top 10. Fine. Now, category is what? Look at this. Category is what? And now look at this. At this moment, you have what? Furniture, some supplies and everything. Now, I am going to refer only furniture. So what happened? The common values between this filter output and this filter output, you have it. Isn't it? So this is the normal filter behavior guys. What happened? This is the normal filter because it has given the common values between the filter 1 output and filter 2 output. So this is what. Do you agree with me here? 
now what happened you know what happened guys it has been hitting the data source for each and every filter because you have applied a filter here now it is hitting to the respective data sources and because and these three filters these two filters no dependent on each other they are sorry they are independent they are independent on each other okay so what is happening here if you think about the logic every time is it, it is hitting the database to validate this filtering criteria okay so that is the reason if you go ahead with this normal filter you will see this kind of a behavior now what you can do you can do add context now look at this what happened if you add context what happened top 10 products do you agree with me see 3 6 next 4 10 so now it has given me the top 10 products which are common to the furniture only because you are trying to retrieve only furniture related values that is the reason so this is what so what I did here simple I have applied add to context that particular element whatever I have it I have simply added it to the context so that instead of so what happened you know now the second filter what is the second filter that is what top 10 products see here what is the second filter guys top 10 products okay that is applied on top of the output of the filter one so that is what you're supposed to think in that perspective so now in this case the filters are dependent on each other now look at this if I remove from the context what will happen you have only three results but when you apply uh, add to context what will happen the product names whatever you are having this second filter okay is going to applicable on the output of parent one so this is the result right guys now you have category is equal to furniture and you have top 10 products as well. so this is what your combination the context and product are uh, category category um, category i have applied on category not on product okay okay, okay let me show you with another example okay guys are we good so far with this i know that it is bit i uh, know uh, different when you compared with the other one guys but this is the logic you have to understand okay so imagine that i have applied a filter of category that is equal to furniture that output okay is going to store in a repository level as a temporary table and on that temporary table the product name where top 10 results is going to be applicable it is the second filter is not going to hit the database the second filter is going to hit the output of my filter one which is storing at a repository level which is a temporary table right and you never ever see this kind of a logic in the traditional tools never you don't have this concept altogether of course you do have it but you have to deal with the concept of i can say like uh, you know customization system wise but in here it is not like that okay right so let me show you another example guys now this time i'll show you something with which is uh, I can say like you know mm, let's say I have sales fine. and I have let's say subcategory okay subcategory now what am I going to do subcategory how many values you have plenty of values now let's say I am going to apply filter on subcategory look at this subcategory of what look at this subcategory of what top 10 okay top 10 now you can do one thing. before that let me sort it okay yeah that's fine it's already in upper one only now look at this what am i going to do now look at this guys i'm going to apply a filter so when I apply first time filter, okay, when I am going to apply first time filter, this output, whatever you have this output, it is going to be stored in your temporary table. Okay. Now look at this. How many values you have? 10 values. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 4. 10 values, isn't it? So this output is stored in your okay. This output is stored in your temporary table. And the second filter, whatever you are going to apply, now look at this the second filter whatever you are going to apply 
is going to apply on the output of my filter one. Okay, now let's say furniture. See, it will give you subcategory related to the furniture. Okay, now what am I going to do? Now the category. Okay. See. Look at the output. You have output difference here. So I am going to add it into a context, which means not only the common values, I don't want the common values between them. I would like to see. I don't want to carry the normal functionality of a filter. I would like to apply a filter of the output one filter. That is what? This is what? A context. Now you can ask me a question. Can we add multiple uh, uh, filtering criteria? Absolutely. Why not? Now look at this. Let me add city. Okay. Let's say. I can say like, you know, yeah. Top 10 cities. Okay. Fine. Now this filter is going to impact on this, on this subcategory. Now, add the context. Okay. Of course, in this object, I am, I am choosing the wrong one. Okay. okay. See. You see the output. Okay. Likewise, you can apply multiple filtering functionality also, multiple context filters also in this way, thread by thread, one by one, one by one, you can apply multi-functionalities also. Okay guys, now, but here, what is the crux of the point? Context filters are dependent on each other, but normal filters never dependent on each other, they are independent. Okay, now, let me show you. Let me tell you the background. Let me tell you with different example. This is in general, I'll, I'll tell you. For example, you have applied CF nothing but context filter guide. CF is nothing but what? Context filter. What I would like to let you know is the difference between the context filter and to the other rest of filters. The rest of filters. Either it could be a normal filter or whatever you think. Now look at this. Whenever we create a context filter at a W level, it will create a temporary table for this particular filter set and then other filters will be applied on top of the context filter output. 